in the you can't make this up category and the karma is a mother category i have this crazy story for you about the man who tried to attack kyle rittenhouse and how karma got him back we all know by now that blm was set up just to help black criminals it does nothing for the black family it does nothing for the good black people of america it is solely there to create hate animosity and to protect the black criminal here we have a guy who was basically burning down kenosha wisconsin who then attacked kyle rittenhouse and f around and found out well now when they say karma it's how it came back to haunt him man who attacked kyle rittenhouse got run over by a car it's been nearly two years since Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted of first-degree reckless homicide, first-degree reckless endangering safety, first-degree intentional homicide, and attempted first-degree intentional homicide. The case captured the nation's attention with the left lusting to imprison this young man for doing nothing wrong because it was totally self-justified. Anyway, when this incident occurred, part of the 2020 summer riots that became a topic of discussion for that year's presidential election, Rittenhouse killed Anthony Huber, Joseph Rosenbaum, who were no angels, and of course, Gage Grosneck, whom Rittenhouse shot in the arm as he pointed a gun at him, had half of his hand blown off, if you remember that video, who then testified against Kyle and eventually tried to change his name. And the reason why I say this is karma is because Gage, who now changed his name to Paul, was hit by a vehicle and it was a hit and run. And the guy who did it was one of the people he would burn down Kenosha for, a black criminal. I'm going to show you quick the, the news report on it. Check it out. Just trying to stay awake until the ambulance could arrive. This man who asked us not to use his name was walking along Brady Street Saturday, September 2nd at 9 p.m. when he went to cross Warren Avenue. And I looked to my right and saw a car that was had a blinker on and they were presumably waiting for me to go through the crosswalk. A nearby surveillance camera captured what happened next. A silver SUV swerved around that car, quickly turned left, and slammed right into him. If you look right here, he was left, left by this animal that ran him over. Top of the hood, um, and then was dragged under and stuck underneath the vehicle for a good 20 feet um, before I came out underneath. And next thing I know, I'm laying on the street, looking upwards and uh, wondering what happened. And there you have it. Paul, who would destroy parts of Wisconsin because he supported Fentanyl Floyd then goes on to do nothing, simply cross the street, and gets run over by some guy that he would have burned down Kenosha, Wisconsin for. Now, if that's not karma, I don't know what is. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.